Hey Taurus, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a reading for our sign today. Yes, I too am a Taurus. Taurus Sun Sign, Pisces Moon, Pisces Rising and Pisces Venus. So yeah, but uh, uh, deep down inside I am rooted in Taurus. So this is a reading, a general reading for the sign of Taurus. That being said, this is not a personal reading for you. So, you know, I don't need comments that say this doesn't resonate. This isn't my reading, blah, 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 blah. If you leave comments like that, I'm just going to delete them for your own personal safety because everybody will just think you're a dumbass if you leave a comment like that. So this is a general reading for the sign of Taurus. And um, what else? Oh yeah, for a personal reading from me, 40 bucks will hook you up just like this, just for your situation, just for you at TaurusStarTarot.com. I have gotten some flack about my cheap <laughs> pricing for um, readings for my YouTube subscribers. And I just want to put a quick disclaimer out there that, you know, um, I know it's cheap. Yeah, it's really cheap. My regular readings are $70. And um, I know it's cheap, but you know what? I have been at times in my life, I have been, I have been extremely wealthy and I have been extremely poor. Right now I'm in the middle. <laughs> but, um, and I understand what it means to watch YouTube videos because you're seeking some kind of guidance, some kind of help, some kind of direction, but you can't afford a $120 personal reading or you can't afford, you know, $250 to go see the psychic in town. I understand that. So if you're on YouTube seeking guidance and wisdom, I just want to be here to be able to give you um, guidance and wisdom from the cards. Of course, it's not for me um, at a price that, you know, most people can afford. So um, I'm going to keep my readings at $40 for my YouTube subscribers. I get plenty of business with the, uh, with the full on pricing that I do and um, I'm not worried about it. So for YouTube subscribers, my readings are $40 because if you're on YouTube seeking some wisdom and some guidance from tarot cards, um, it probably means that you're either not willing to take that kind of money out of your budget or it means that you don't have that kind of money, you know, hundreds of dollars to take out of your budget for a tarot card reading. So I'm here for you for that. Um, it doesn't bother me in any way whatsoever. I can do $40 readings till the cows come home, which I know I say a lot. That's an East Texas saying, by the way. Um, but uh, I'm here for that for you. So 40 bucks just for you, just for your situation. We'll hook you up at TaurusStarTarot.com. All right, all that being said, you've heard me say a bazillion times, check your moon sign, your rising sign to understand. Your sun sign is how you receive information. Your moon sign is how you process the information. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you put that information back out into the world. There's a link in the box below. Take you to a website where you can figure all of that out, okay? All right, well, let's get into this reading. And yes, I am back home and my setup is is back to normal and I'm excited so let's do this reading okay all right well you open up this reading let me do this let me get this out of the way so you open up this reading in the hangman right you are pausing you're surrendering you're contemplating you're trying to get um, perspective on whatever is going on in your life right here it's followed by the moon card. This is you squinting through the window of life, trying to see things clearly. Just like when there's a full moon outside, you know, and you squint through those windows and you see the shadows and you're just trying to kind of figure out what's really going on out there. Same thing with the moon card. That's what you're doing. You're squinting through the windows of life, trying to see clearly, trying to figure out in the hangman what it is that you're going to do, what the decision is that you're going to make about life. What are you contemplating in the hangman mode is the chariot. You're contemplating taking some kind of forward movement in your life. You're trying to, you want to take some kind of action. You're very determined to take some kind of action in your life. And you're really rolling it around with the hangman and the moon, really rolling it around. Well, what comes up next is the tower, right? You're going to have some kind of a revelation 
and an awakening, some kind of an epiphany. How do I know this is not sudden change, upheaval, and chaos in your life? Is number one, because it's followed by the King of Cups, but number two, because these are your clarifying cards. So this tower moment, so you're in the hangman, right? Thinking about taking some kind of very important action in your life right there. Really, really trying to um, see the forest through the trees with the moon card, right? Evaluating every angle, every situation. Tower comes in gives you a, a kick in the pants, right? It's a kick in the pants. It is a revelation, an awakening, an epiphany because judgment comes in. This tower moment kicks off, this epiphany that you have kicks off the judgment process in your mind, right? Judgment is about making a judgment call, making a decision. And this decision is going to bring absolution to this issue right here right it's going to bring absolution to it so you have an epiphany you have some kind of crystal clear um, understanding of the direction that you need to go and you make a judgment call princess of cups comes in on top of that this judgment call this epiphany that you have with the tower moment is directly related to a creative new beginning in your life what we have next is the King of Cups. The King of Cups comes in and says that this epiphany, this judgment call, um, leaves you feeling very emotionally in control, right? The King of Cups is all about emotional balance and control. So you come from the hangman, you know, contemplating, tossing things around the moon, not being clear, not really knowing, right? about taking some kind of action in your life. You have a tower moment, an epiphany, a revelation, and an awakening that causes you to make a decision, right? Causes you to make a decision about a creative new beginning in your life. You come out of all of that feeling emotionally in control of yourself, emotionally stable. What is all of this about? This is all about the Eight of Cups. It's about walking away from something it's about walking away from something in your life because with the two of cups right there it's about walking away from from something right and the two of cups comes in and talks to us about um, relationships partnerships right an imbalance or a lack of harmony in your life if this card were in reverse and you know I had a couple comments about why I spit cards out and sometimes I turn them around because number one I don't all of my cards are upright I don't I don't do reversals right I don't do the whole I don't but this card has two sets of meanings all of these cards have two sets of meaning there's an upright meaning and there's a reversal meaning and just because this card is in the upright in my spread doesn't mean that I can't attach the reversal meaning to it based on the cards that are around it, okay? Um, so we have the Two of Cups coming in. The Two of Cups is about relationships, partnerships, but this card is also about having a lack of harmony in your life. So this is just reiterating this Eight of Cups right there, right? It's dual purpose. So the King of Cups comes in and says you have emotional control and balance. This whole decision-making process right here is about walking away from a relationship in your life or an imbalance and a lack of harmony in your life, okay? So it could be walking away from a relationship, but it could also be walking away from and leaving behind imbalance in your life trying to get harmony right because the star card comes in and says that you see better things in your future this is a card about hope and faith renewal spirituality so this whole hanged man energy right here this this these are all emotional and uh, mental processes that you're going to go through from here to here okay and while you're in the hangman, in the moon, trying to um, understand what direction it is that you want to take your life, you see things, you see things, there's better things for you than where you're at right now. You know this, you know that there are better things for you than where you are right now in your life. We open up this second row 
with the Eight of Pentacles. This is a card about um, trying to gain mastery of your life, right? It's, it's trying to gain mastery of your life. Five of Pentacles comes in and says, however, to gain mastery of your life, you feel like you're going to have to leave someone or something out in the cold, which goes right back to this relationship card right there. If it's not an imbalance in your life and it is a relationship that you're going to have to walk away from in order to get renewal in your life, um, you're, you're leaving somebody out in the cold. Either way, you have to leave something behind in order to gain mastery in your life, right? Prince of Swords comes in. Prince of Swords comes in and talks to us. This is the Knight of Swords, right? This is a um, this is an action oriented communication card in the upright. On the flip side, this card is about a disregard for consequences. And I think, I really think that this is where you are right now. It's not that you are a flippant disregard for consequences and you're just going to do whatever you want to do and you don't care how it affects other people. That is not what this card is about for you. This card is about you doing what it is that you need to do to have hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. And yes, is the definition a disregard for consequences when it's in the reverse? Absolutely. But I can tell you right now, in the upright, this card is not about communication. It's not. Based on all of the cards around it, you know, the upright definition of this card is action oriented communication. But with these cards, it's not. This card with the Prince of Wands is about um, a disregard for consequences. So what this card is telling me is that you are looking out for you, regardless of, of the pain associated, you're doing what's best for you because you see bigger, better, brighter things in your future. What we come in with next is the Nine of Cups. You are in pursuit of your wishes, right? Your dreams, your wishes. You are in pursuit of, of happiness and satisfaction in your life, right? The Six of Wands. Okay, well, let's go back to the Five of Swords. But you're very, very conflicted with the Five of Swords. Very, very conflicted between what's right for you and the effects that it's going to have on those around you, right? on those around you. The Six of Wands comes in. The Six of Wands is about, um, is about um, progress and self-confidence, right? So you progress with the chariot. So you have a lot of confliction, internal conflict about moving forward, um, about the self-confidence to move forward. You want victory and success, but you're very, very conflicted because you're going to be leaving some something or someone or some people behind to achieve success. What we have next is the King of Swords. This is the decision maker, right? The pages are the triggers, the knights are the delivery system, the queens are the disseminators, and the kings are the executors, right? So this King of Swords, you're, you are about to execute a decision in your life. This is a clear thinking intellectual person that has power and authority in their truth. So you have come to a point of truth in your life. You've come to a point of truth. This truth is that you're going to have to I don't want to say you're going to have to break someone's heart. You might have to break someone's heart in pursuit of your own happiness, right? With the three of swords. There might be some painful separation, some sorrow, some grief, right? Somebody may feel rejected. But this is also a card about optimism. On the flip side, it's a card about optimism. So this is also a dual purpose card right here. You very well may have to break somebody's heart or cause some kind of separation or sorrow in pursuit of hope, faith, renewal, and spirituality in your life. The Queen of Pentacles. This tells me that this has something to do with your family, right? 
The Queen of Pentacles is all about home and hearth. It's about, it's about the bread box of your life. It's about family. This is also, on the flip side, a card about an imbalance in family commitments. So this card tells me that you may, that all of this pain here and this conflict is associated with family, somehow, some way. It's associated with family. The King of Wands on top of it says success, right? So these three cards tell me the decision that you made, this decision that you make right here is that, yes, you're going to cause pain to somebody, something, some kind of situation in regards to family commitments or family, family ties, family attachments, right? In order to secure your own success. Four of Cups, contemplation and reevaluation. Right here, you're checking this decision that you made with this King of Swords. You're, you're, you're checking yourself, right? Because Taurus will do that. I mean, we want everything to be just right, right? We can't move forward in any area of our life until we are firmly, firmly planted in this decision. So the Four of Cups comes in and says, you're checking yourself right here. You're contemplating and reevaluating. In this contemplation and reevaluation, you come to an absolute breakthrough, mental clarity, right? Absolute mental clarity in how you are going to move forward in your life. Justice, justice again, is about truth, right? This card is about truth. It's about law, cause and effect, and fairness. This card for you in this reading, following this Ace of Swords, is about truth. So you have spoken your truth to yourself. You have, you, you, you know what you're going to do. The alchemist, excuse me, I have the hiccups. The alchemist or the magician comes in, right? Now this card isn't always about manifesting. This card, the actual true definition, I'm going to give you the upside and the downside, okay? The actual definition of this card is manifestation. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. The actual definition of this card is manifestation. It's resourcefulness, it's power, and inspired and or inspired action. On the flip side, it's about manipulation, poor planning, and untapped talents. This card for you in this reading is about power and inspired action. You're not manifesting anything in this reading. Oh, look, I don't, did I have the light on? Oh, y'all, I messed up. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can't get this a little brighter for you. Oh, look, I did. Sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so this card for you is about, um, it, it's about, where was I? It's about power and inspired action, okay? You're not manifesting anything. This card is purely about power and inspired action. Not without some... Um, serious anxiety though and it just it just goes back to all of this right the conflict the you know the heartbreak it's not without serious anxiety the six of pentacles comes in on top of this and talks to us about um generosity right giving sharing a lot of people say it's equal give and take. I don't know if I could go with that or not. But on the flip side of this card, it's about selfishness, okay? And in this particular situation right here, it's about selfishness. You're caught up in your head with the Nine of Swords, right? The extreme definition of this card is depression, nightmares, intense anxiety, and despair, painful lessons, hopelessness, severe depression, and torment. I'm going to say intense anxiety, right? The six of pentacles, because you feel selfish, you feel selfish, Taurus, for taking the action that you need to take in order to secure your own personal growth. And that's, that's normal. That's a normal thing, right? 
because you know you're going to cause some pain. You know there's going to be some sorrow. You're going to have to walk away. You're going to have to leave something or someone or, or family situations out in the cold. You're going to have to take some drastic measures in order to secure your own personal growth and your own success. However, what comes next is the Princess of Wands. This is the root of everything, okay? All of this conflict and, and, and mm, feelings are on the surface because what's in your heart is the Princess of Wands. This Princess of Wands, which is also the Page of Wands, is also, it's a, it's also is about enthusiasm, excitement, exploration, discovery, a free spirit, right? This is about, this is about you in the core, in the root, being super excited about finding purpose for your life. Covered by the two of wands. This is about you being super excited to plan for your future to take the path, future planning, progress, decisions, discovery, right? This is about you choosing you. This is about you choosing you. With the two of pentacles, you have balance and prioritization in your life, in your mindset, in your energy right now, right? Because you have mental clarity about what you're going to do. The Prince of Cups, the metaphorical knight in shining armor, right? The Prince of Cups. You are going to be your own knight in shining armor. You are going to save yourself. You are going to be your own savior and you are going to carry yourself into your destiny. with strength because you're strong Taurus you're strong not only strength but this card is rooted in the word trust absolutely rooted in the word trust because she's petting on him like he's a house cat and he's letting her pet on him like he's a house cat there is absolute trust between these two entities right here absolute trust this card is telling you to trust yourself Trust your intuition and trust your journey. Trust the purpose for your life. The Ten of Pentacles. <coughs> trust, have courage, have strength that you're on the right track. That, that this decision that you're making to move away from things and move on with your life is going to give you the opportunity to secure a foundation by which you can obtain wealth in abundance per you know whether that's money relationships personal i mean wealth in abundance comes in many many different ways right the prince of wands there you are feeling super super excited again this is the knight of wands this is energy passion a lust for life action and adventure this is you heading out this is you telling everybody you're heading out this is you confirmed within your soul that you're heading out what are you doing heading out on a new journey a brand new beginning and a new journey in your life because you see things absolutely crystal clear now and you know what's going to bring happiness to your life and boom the wheel of fortune one life cycle ending a new life cycle beginning and a turning point in your destiny this is so beautiful i know this resonates with me like 100 percent resonates with me um, particularly the conflict part of it <laughs> resonates with me but this is awesome this is a really good reading and this is just I think it touches on on the other readings that we've had and I think this is a general energy going around right now with 
the, the sun sign of Taurus, moon sign, and rising sign. So if you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this might resonate with you. If it does, that's awesome. That means these cards are speaking directly to you today. If it doesn't, then that's okay too. It's just not for you. It's not what's going on in your life right now. But you have a new beginning, a new journey filled with happiness and clarity that is going to be a turning point in your destiny. Yes, you have conflict. Yes, you, you need to walk away from someone or something or a situation. Yes, you have to leave somebody out in the cold, something, someone. Yes, there is going to be some sorrow, some separation, some heartbreak in regards to home, family, the, the structure of your environment in order to achieve success. But it is, Taurus, it is the very best thing that you can do for yourself. And the wheel, the real, the wheel reiterates that. Good karma, good luck, life cycles ending, new life cycles beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. That is your reading, my friends. If you need anything from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste. Hi YouTube, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is a public service announcement about ads on YouTube videos. When you see ads on YouTube videos, it means that YouTube has monetized that channel. When I first started this channel, I had no idea that you could get paid for doing this. Then I got an email from YouTube that said that they would pay me to allow ads on my videos and I was like, well, hell yeah. When a creator reaches a certain amount of views and subscribers, YouTube will allow you to monetize your channel. The creator of that video gets paid on average between 10 and 25 cents for every three second ad that you see. So instead of getting irritated with the ads, just reset your mind frame to understand that in exchange for getting free tarot card readings or information or entertainment or whatever it is that you're watching on YouTube, the creator of that video is getting paid approximately 10 to 25 cents by YouTube for every ad that you see or every ad that you skip, right? So know that for your three seconds of time until you can skip the ad, that's the exchange for free information or entertainment. If there are not ads on the videos that you watch, either the channel is not eligible for monetization or the video contains previously copyrighted material. Some creators don't monetize because they use their channel to create income in other ways, such as selling products or services. I don't know about other creators, but it takes me about two hours to put up a single video from prep to publication. That's about 24 hours for all 12 zodiac signs. So getting a small payout from YouTube is actually really nice. So adjust your time, adjust your time, adjust your mindset to understand that when you see these videos, and even though they're irritating because it interrupts the middle of everything, I know I watch YouTube all the time for all kinds of different things, and it can be irritating. But now that I understand what the purpose of the ads is, I'm more than happy to wait the three seconds to be able to skip the video because I know that that creator is getting some kind of return for their efforts, okay? All right, well, love and light and peace to you all. Namaste.